Hello to the audience. I'm Molly Ranton and I'm here to rant about the two things I hate about Father's Day and Mother's Day. So some quick housekeeping things. One, I'm not wearing my glasses today because they make reflections and that's kind of annoying. And two, I've made my own caption track because on my last video, Google auto caption said things like, An assist make men with Karen, especially the enemy. I'm sure an assist would make men with Karen and I think Karen's probably a swell gal, but that's not what I'm talking about. So this Sunday was Father's Day in Canada. Wanted to get my dad a present, but doom has struck. I've started to run out of ideas. So like most of the world, usually when I run out of ideas, I Google search whatever I'm thinking about, and Google usually brings up some pretty good results. But tragedy has struck. I actually noticed the same thing when it was Mother's Day. If you Google stuff like Mother's Day gifts, you'll come up with things like make a homemade candle. Make some pretty flowers. Bath salts. You could make really cool looking soap. And here's what the world thinks dad should have. A tie, some luggage tags, or a notepad. You could get him a paperweight. And there's nothing really wrong with these things, and I'm sure that some mothers and fathers would really love their respective presents. But... My mom, while she's not opposed to things flowery, is not like, ooh, all the flowers. And my dad, you'll notice that a lot of the things with the Father's Day have to do with work. My dad does not go to work. He works. He works around the house. Now I know that if you want to be thoughtful, you have to actually use your own thoughts. And if you're going to Google something, it's going to come up with a generic answer. My problem is that the generic answer is a stereotype. I don't know very many people at all who actually would think that their mom would really like uh, lots of flowery bath salts and that their dad would really, really like a new paperweight. I mean, for one thing, neither of these things are that useful. And for another thing, none of these things have anything to do with if you're a man or a woman, or if you're both, or if you're neither. And the problem with Mother's Day and Father's Day is that we've basically built them around these gender stereotypes that we build around our society. And I think it's really interesting when I'm Googling what kind of presents I should be getting my parents, what kind of presents that people think I should be getting my parents. It's very interesting to think that the world believes that women are only interested in taking baths, that women are not important enough to be going to the office, also that men don't want to be taking baths. Even more annoying is that all of this gendered Father's Day, Mother's Day thing ignores people who don't consider themselves a father or a mother, or who may consider themselves both father and mother. There are other genders in the world than just male and female. If someone considers herself neither a man nor a woman, but does have children, what day are they going to celebrate? And unlike when your parents told you that every day is kids day, every day is not androgen day or genderqueer day or non-binary day or two-spirited day or third sex day. No. Every day is not those days. So the gender roles we've been forcing on people aren't only harmful because they assume women are only interested in taking baths and don't work in offices and men don't ever take baths and always work in offices, but they also ignore the people who don't fit into this gender binary that we seem to think exists. That's one major problem. Let's hear another. A lot of people owe a lot to their parents. However, some people don't have a good relationship with their parents. If you have suffered at the hands of your parents all of your life, you don't owe them a Mother's Day or a Father's Day. I think it's a great idea to celebrate your parents if you really, truly want to celebrate them, but if you don't, that's okay. So I think Father's Day and Mother's Day, again, great ideas in theory, but there are two things about Father's Day and Mother's Day that just really need to change. One, we need to stop telling kids that they need to be celebrating Father's Day or Mother's Day. Yes, in a lot of cases, it's a great thing to be celebrating your parents. And you need to take the time to thank the people who've given you things like love and support. But if those people haven't given you love and support, you don't have to take that time for them. My number two thing is the gender roles. I don't think there should actually be a Father's Day and a Mother's Day. I would prefer a Parent's Day. And if we celebrated just Parent's Day, maybe Google would come up with some more searches for things that would be good for parents. As opposed to saying that this is what mothers would want because they're women 
and women only like specific things, and this is what fathers would want because they're men. T we need to stop pretending that we live in a world where everything is very cut clear and straight lines that make perfect sense all the time. We live in a world of Fifty Shades of Grey, which is a terrible book. But I'm not going to talk about that right now, because this video is already pretty long, and me ranting about Fifty Shades of Grey should get its own video. I'm Molly Ranton, and that was my rant. Toodles!